Here at eFix, we love products that save electricians time. A product from Lap Cable, we've got the Skin Top Click Gland. And this gland here is designed to make it faster to install for electricians, and we like that. It's IP68, it comes in all the standard sizes and two standard colours. It comes in grey as well as in black. We're going to see in this video presentation how simple it is to install into an electrical enclosure and maintain the IP rating of that enclosure. So let's take a closer look at the skin top click gland, okay? It looks similar to a conventional one. I like the fact that the O-ring or gasket is already installed on it, so we can maintain that IP rating if needed of IP68. So we have a lock nut here, but it's a little bit different. It's not on the end that we're used to seeing it here connecting between the box. It's the other side, and you have to turn it, first of all, in a clockwise direction. So that's pretty counterintuitive in order to wind it down. So we wind it down by doing it in a clockwise direction, like so. And then this is the fun bit. This is super simple. I'm gonna take this and just push it into my electrical enclosure like so. You can see in here, okay, where we've got it grabbed in position. So that's where you get the click from. So it goes through and clicks into position. We come back up and now in order to bring this lock nut down, we need to do it in an anti-clockwise direction. So we turn that in an anti-clockwise direction and then it will require us just to nip that up. Remember, we've got this O-ring or seal under here for the IP rating, we don't want to over tighten it. So we can just nip that up maybe with, a, with an adjustable spanner, just give that a little bit of a turn until we've got it to the required tightness there. It's now ready for us to install our cable next. Super simple to install it, and we're often ready to go, probably considerably faster than doing a, a standard gland, but it might come to a point where you need to take this back out Okay, that's where this little tool here, this releasing tool comes in handy. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna back off our uh, actual nut itself. So we turned it, tightened it up in a anti-clockwise direction. So we need to go in a clockwise direction in order to loosen it back. So we loosen that one back off, like so, till it stops. And then we simply take this little bit of kit, we push it onto here where we had the click, fully into position like so, and then we should just be able to lever it out of position. So that is out now and instantly released with those two bits of kit. Again, super simple. Another top tip, I know this isn't an EV charging point, but we've installed some EV charging points and we've had to maintain the IP rating of those enclosures. And sometimes those cables have to come in from behind. So if this was the EV charging point, the actual cable is gonna come in from here and you're gonna to need to put a gland on it in order to maintain that IP rating. With a standard gland, it would mean that you'd have to get the gland nut onto the actual back of the enclosure like so, meaning that the point itself has to be off the wall as you install the cable. If you use the skin top click variety, you overcome that problem. So this being my EV charging point, this being the actual gland itself, I'm just gonna simply push it in from this way around into my hole until it clicks and then rotate my locking nut in order to maintain the IP rating of that enclosure. So we keep it as IP68 with my cable coming in from behind and I can use a cable such as this type of cable, a tough sheath cable, like so would come in from behind and this cable also can be known as NYY cable if you're looking to order it, if you can't find it as tough sheath. So in that position there, we can then just lock it off in order to maintain the IP rating of something like an EV charging point. So just to prove the point, we've got an electrical enclosure here that obviously isn't as deep as the ones we've just looked at. And just to show you how easy it is here, I've got a gray enclosure and I'm using the gray gland. Okay, I could argue that the cable's black and I could use a black gland, but I like gray on gray. Simply push it into position. Oh, but now you're wondering whether you can actually get the cover back on, we'd obviously have to tighten it up in order to install the actual socket front itself. And you can clearly see that goes on there, just a case now of obviously tightening this up, remembering which direction you've got to go in. So it's clicked in under here, so we've got it fully clicked in. Now we're going to rotate this. In order to tighten it, we're going to go anti-clockwise. So we've got anti-clockwise in order to tighten it off. And once we've got it tight, we can insert our cable. So we tighten that off. And then again, I can introduce my NYY cable into the hole like so, in order that we can then make off our twin socket outlet. Okay, just needs it this nipping up here. And again, shows you how easy these uh, skin top click glands are in order to install, but we've also seen how quick they are to remove as well. The skin top click glands from Lap Cable proved today they're easy to install and easy to remove, have an IP rating of IP68. Do I believe that these will save electricians time? Yeah, I do. And we like that at eFix.